Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to do the follow-up to my Firo solo mining experiment that I started just over a week ago. So this is a video that I posted just about a week ago, a little over a week ago, where I went and I looked about doing some solo mining with some of my graphics cards. And the way it turned out was that I could get regular block rewards coming in every week. So I decided to have some fun with it. Mine Firo, it's a project that I personally like. It's a project that I have goals with, run a master node on. So I decided since I could get block rewards in here, it says for a week coming in, why not? Why not move a couple rigs over to it? So what I decided to do was move my 16 series cards over to it, which in total is 16 graphics cards. That is 14 1660 TIs and then two 1660 supers, which on average gave me around 30 mega hash. So I'm gonna enter that in here. And what I looked for is I went down to Firo and I went down to, can I mine solo? And it told me, like you saw in that previous video, that in a week I would hit on average around four blocks, which for 25 Firo total. I said, well, let's give it a try. Let's see how I did. Let's see how I did. That's the important part, right? So this is it. This has been a little over eight days and you can see how I'm doing here. You can see my average hash rate around that 30 mega hash. And you can see I actually hit eight blocks in the last eight days, which if you remember, this told me I was going to hit about four. So I actually did double what it told me I was going to do. And so let's take a look at that further. I'm going to go to the reward section here. And you can see all the blocks that I hit. And I actually hit another block when I was in the middle of filming this video for the first time. So I just started to start it over. But you can see, and I actually made a mistake in that last video. I want to correct myself now. So personal luck, which you can see here, is the stat to track when you're doing solo mining. Because it lets you know how lucky you are if you're getting more blocks than you should statistically get. If you're getting less blocks than you should statistically get. And you can see the numbers in green here are good. That means that I did better than I should have. In my previous video, I talked about the higher percentage luck score over 100 being better. It's actually the opposite. If you're under 100% luck, that means you are getting more rewards than you're supposed to be getting statistically on the network. So you can see now first block, I did 63% luck, which means I got I hit that block sooner than I statistically should have. And you can see later on, I had to do a lot more work, 179% luck. That took me a lot longer to hit that block than statistically I should have. And what I really wanted to see is after a week's time, like what would this all average out to? Was it worth it? So I came over and I made a spreadsheet here, which took in all the rewards that I've gotten and took in all the luck scores that I've gotten over that time period, which we're going to say is eight days. It's a little over eight days, but I actually did have a rig offline, one of these rigs offline for a little bit, probably around a half a day. Uh, if you guys watch my my live stream or any of my videos, you see that 16 series rig I was working on. So I had it off. So I'll just say eight days. We're just going to call it eight days. This is not perfect science, but we're just having some fun here. And my average luck score actually wound up being 61%, which means I was really lucky. The one of the things I was thinking about is how much does network hash rate come into play here? And if you go and look at Firo's net hash over that time, you can see it bounced up a lot. So we're 13, 14, going up to almost 20 giga hash. Just a lot of back and forth. And I'm sure that that absolutely played into my ability to win a block doing solo mining. So then the next thing I wanted to do is just really figure out, was this worth it versus just sticking these rigs on Ethereum? So I took in 49.25 Firo during that time, which is, I think, fantastic. And if you look over on CoinMarketCap here, you can see Firo's current price it's a little over $7 USD. So let's take the amount of Firo that I generated and put that in here, which means in a little over eight days, I've generated in USD, not taking into account electricity or anything, almost $350 on those, on those rigs. So I was like, well, what would I have done if I just left this all on Ethereum? So they went over to what to mine. And I know those two rigs do around 244 mega hash each. So that's 488 mega hash we'll enter in here. And they use about 600 watts in power. So we're just gonna enter in 1200 watts in power total. And let's take a look. And looking at just revenue here, cause I'm not figuring out electricity. 
So in just revenue, if I just left it on Ethereum, I would have done, we'll just say $240. But since I solo mined, I actually did $350 on those two rigs. That's crazy. I made $110 more solo mining versus just leaving these on Ethereum. I almost can't believe that. I And again, it just comes down to that luck score. I was super lucky. And so I don't like, don't go do this because of my results here. I'm going to keep trucking because this has been a lot of fun and I'm going to keep tracking this over time. But I did really well uh, in these eight days. You can see that average luck score. You can see all these rewards. So I'm super stoked on how this all panned out. So what's next? What am I going to do next? So I think what I'm going to do next is instead of using uh, two miners solo mining service, I'm just going to take them out of the equation and do this the true solo mining way, which is download the Fira wallet, um, let the full node run, you know, download the whole blockchain, which is around 50, 60 gigabytes to a computer, and then mine through that. Because a couple people have said it would reduce your latency. Um, and then also the biggest thing for me is that I'm not paying the percent for the pool, because if you go back to the pool here, these block rewards are, uh, Typically, 6.25 is the Firo block reward. The reason it's 6.15 here is because I'm paying with the 1.5% solo mining fee over to two miners for using their service. So if I take two miners out of the equation, it just means that I have to set up the Firo wallet and download the blockchain, and then I will get the full block reward. So I think that's what I'm going to do next as I continue this experiment. But again, really a ton of fun. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed following this. If you haven't checked out my previous video on this, please check it out. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. If you've done some solo mining, let me know down in the comments section. Let me know the results that you've been getting on your rigs. It's just something fun to do. But ultimately, guys, if you're still looking to break even on your GPUs, I this is don't recommend this because like statistically over time, it should just average out where I come at 100% luck. So just because I had some really good results here doesn't mean go jump on this. If you're still working to pay off your cards, Ethereum, as of making this video, is the best way to have a constant, dependable revenue stream coming in so you can do what you need to do to pay off your GPUs. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this experiment. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content on GPU mining, hit the notification bell so you know when I do live streams and post videos. Jump on my Discord, link is in the description below if you wanna chat. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.